Hey, welcome back. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I just haven't had a chance until now. But I want to show you how do you block USB removable storage using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So when you have a USB thumb drive and you go to insert it into a Windows 10 computer, how do you make the operating system from just making this thing unusable? So you can't do anything with it, but yet still allow users to use other USB peripherals like maybe a headset. I think you're going to love this. So let's jump into it and take a look. Okay, so within Microsoft Endpoint Manager, we're gonna click on Endpoint Security and then go to Attack Surface Reduction. We're gonna create a new policy for Windows 10 and we're gonna choose Device Control as the profile. Now I've already done this, so here it is. And when I go to show you the configuration settings, here you can see all the different things that can be done here. Maybe I'll do a video someday about uh, doing this via device identifiers, that's kind of cool. So you can block maybe specific vendors of USB devices, maybe certain types of USB devices, but allow others, many different possibilities there. Uh, but I'm gonna just gonna scroll down here, check it out, block direct memory access. I've got a whole story for it, I'll do a video on that someday. But if I come down here to block removable storage, basically if I just choose yes, that's all we're gonna do. And I have some other options here, but uh, we're just gonna block removable storage completely and review and save. Now, once I save that, I do need to assign it, which I've assigned to all users and all devices. Now, if I pull up my test machine here, here we have Device Manager open. Let's go ahead and plug in the USB stick, so bear with me. And give that just a moment. So there you can see Windows recognized the USB stick, but if I open up uh, Windows Explorer here and I try to actually open it, Look at that, it, it denies access. So I can't even use the file system to open the USB stick. Now, if we try to use Disk Manager to open it, here it's under Disk Management. Uh, and from here, I could probably just delete the volume. So I could still manage it but I can't, access the, I can't access any data on it and I can't do any read and write to it. Uh, but I can go ahead and create a volume here and I can probably format it here as well. Right, and there you go. Uh, so if I come back here, it's still access denied even after I've formatted it. Now, what if we take that and we remove that USB stick and then we plug in that headset that I showed you? So there's the headset that I just plugged in, the Sennheiser D10 for Link under sound, video, and game controllers. And so now the operating system will let me use that. So that's really easy. Again, I can block uh, just USB removable storage, but then allow other things. Or I can get even more granular here in these options, but uh, it's all based on your requirements. So here's my challenge to any anybody who's watching this. Don't put glue in the USB ports. Just go through this and see, does this meet your requirements? Can you prevent USB removable storage from being used using this? Or if you wanna allow some USB removable storage but block others, you know, explore doing this via uh, identifiers. So, and I'll do another video on this at some point. Okay, everybody, well, hopefully you found value in this. I always enjoy making them, so give me a thumbs up if you found value. Hey, if you didn't, that's okay too. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe though for me because I do have some additional videos coming out this week that you might find some value in and might help you out. Okay, everybody, we'll take care and we'll see you in the next video.